oh, here she is. It's a night of the living dead. Oh, never, ever again. I feel as sick as a dog. Here you go, love. Black coffee, three sugars, get that down, yeah. Ah, I'm so stupid. It's totally crucial I get all this right, and I've got no staff, no food. Well, I'm going to uh, nip to that agency place today, see if I can at least get some staff to wait on, eh? Oh, would you? Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm nipping into town anyway. I've got one of my meetings. Oh, right. Are you um, a bit worried because Kevin's turned up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Well, won't be a bad idea. Show me face anyway, will it? No. No, it's good for you to go. Oh. Oh, dear, love, it must be bad if you can't drink your coffee. Oh, boot's well and truly on the other foot now, isn't it? Here's me, sitting here all hung over. <laughs> you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Not touched a drop in months. <laughs> oh, you started early. I'm doing the catering for Betty's party. Not a bad idea, though. It's almost midday. Oh, no, not for me, mate. I'm, uh, I'm off into town in a minute. Hi, maybe later. So, did you uh, sort the caters for your due? Uh, no, not yet. I could do it for you. Small fee. Well, that's not a bad idea, actually. We'll, uh, we'll talk about menus and all that later. <laughs> I've, uh, I've got to get off now. Oh, um, I've just remembered I need some bits and bobs from the shop. OK. Um, you aren't going to pick up Simon after school, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I hope you're not going to lead him astray. He's always liked the point. We're ex-Navy. Goes with the territory. Yeah, but his problem is he doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> You're not exactly teetotal yourself. You were totally legless last night. Yeah, well, that was a one-off. I'll tell you why he's just had to rush off, shall I? He's going to town, he said. No, he's going to his alcohol support group. He's turned his life around thanks to them, and I don't want him going off the rails again. Hey. Hi, my name's Peter. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Peter. Uh, well, I've not, I've not been for a bit. But I thought I'd best bob in today because I had a bit of a, you know, I had a bit of a slip last night. Well, it's good that you're here. Yeah. And I found myself with a bottle of wine in my hand. And I thought, why not? You know, why not? I mean, just one little mouthful. What harm's it going to do? You've all been there, mate. So, I did. And, uh... It was like coming home. You know, I mean, it, it just felt great. Sounds like you had a moment of weakness. Well, no. Well, no, I, I mean, not really. I mean, that's a funny thing. I mean, I, it didn't feel like that at all. You know, I mean, if, if anything, it just felt like I had a moment of strength because I had a mouthful and I stopped. I put that bottle down and I walked away from it. You know, so that's... I mean, that's a good thing, isn't it? You're feeling yourself, Peter. It's good that you stopped there, but none of us can underestimate the power of this illness. Oh, no, no. No, I know, I realise that. But what I proved to myself last night was that I can just have one drink. I can. You know, I, I know now that I don't have to just... Drink myself into that oblivion every time. Listen. I'm sorry if I was a bit offhand about the drinking. I had no idea that things had got so out of hand. Oh, Kieran, you don't know the half of it. Peter came this close to losing everything he had. How come? Oh, he's horrible when he's had a drink. Moody, unreliable. He's a terrible dad. One time he got so drunk at the school, had this massive kick-off. His lucky social services weren't involved. Right. And then it all came to a head one night. He got drunk, fell asleep with a fag in his hand and burnt the flat down. He did not. Him and Simon are lucky to be alive. It was touch and go for Simon for a while he'd inhaled so much smoke. Peter was beside himself. I look after him. If he's ill with me, not a drop will pass his lips, I promise you that.
for the half, love. No time. Sure. No, no, I only came in for one, thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought Leanne was going to pick him up. No, I've just been at a meeting. I turned my phone off. Yeah, I'll come get him. I'm sorry. Bye. <sighs> sorry, mate. What am I like? Rubbish. <laughs> Standing there like a lemon, weren't you, love? All on your own, Eo. Mrs. Roberts was supposed to be off to badminton. All right, all right. Enough with the guilt trip. I saw Leanne earlier. She said you definitely promised to pick him up. Yeah, I know. I've been up to my eyeballs in it all day. I've been interviewing staff, you know. I just lost track of time, that's all. Can you not set up your phone to beep at you? Hmm. Could I have a word, please? On it, I've seen it on people's mobiles. It's like an alarm clock that goes off to remind them to, to do things. Hmm. I'll think about it. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, no, is my dad in trouble again? I think Grandad's going to make me sit on the naughty step. Yeah. Please tell me you've not been drinking. Oh, that is so flaming typical of you. What, because I have one mint, all of a sudden I'm all over flaming reed? I mean, I'm a staggering about. I'm a slurring me words. No, I'm not. Come on, Simon, we're going. Yeah, take that. Hiya. Oh, I'm totally knackered. Hi. You have a productive day, love? Yeah, the bar looks great. We are going to have the best party ever. Yeah. Oh, I uh, sorted out the stuff for you. Oh, thanks. How did your meeting go? Yeah, well, well, thanks, yeah. Do you know what? It got me thinking, though. I sort of realised that I don't have to take absolutely everything they say as gospel. What do you mean? Well, it's like everything, isn't it? You take on board the stuff that works for you and you ignore the rest. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's a programme, isn't it? It's tried and tested over the years. But all I'm saying is, you know, there's some people that have to stop drinking completely, you know. They have one bowl of sherry trifle and bang, they fall off the wagon. But, you know, really, I'm... I'm not like that. I reckon that I can handle the occasional drink. Yeah, but, well, the whole thing about being an alcoholic is you can't just have the occasional drink, can you? Cos, well, one leads to two and then... No, I know that, but I'm much more sus now. I've learnt my lesson. You know, I've... I know my limits. Peter, you have done so well. You don't want to go chucking all the hard work away, Of course you? not, no. Listen, I've... promise me. Just promise me you, you won't start drinking again. Yeah, you're right. Let's play it safe, eh? <laughs>